Life is full of problems. They could be marital, financial, spiritual, or medical. Some of these problems can be solved by a phone call, money, political power, your doctor, or your contacts. However, you may soon come across a problem that defies any solution. In Kakrabadin's book, Rules of Engagement, you will learn how to use the spiritual weapon of prayer and be victorious over evil when it comes knocking at your door. Now is the time to learn how to pray before the evil days come. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Rules of Engagement at the comment section or message window. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra begins an insightful teaching on the subject, Strange Love, gleaned from the story of the Good Samaritan. Yesterday, he explained that God loved us first. Today, he speaks about the blood and the wine. Let's join him. We've been sharing on the Good Samaritan. Today, I will talk about the love of God from this story. Number three, the Bible says when he got there, let's talk about the blood first. He poured in the wine. Now, wine is symbolic of the blood of Jesus. You know, one day I had a sink and there were some stains in the sink. I tried to clean it, it wouldn't go. So I had to go and get a special detergent. And when I applied that special detergent, the stain just went away. Now sin is something invisible. You can't use water to wash it away. You can't use words to take it away. In the realm of the spirit, only one thing takes it away. Blood takes it away. And the blood has to be clean. Because if you wash your clothes with dirty water, your clothes will still be dirty. That is why, although blood takes away or washes away sin, we need blood that is pure. That is the blood of somebody who has never sinned. That is why the blood of Jesus was needed. The wine, when they press it, is red. It's symbolic of the blood of Jesus. The Bible says when he got to the man, he poured in the wine. That's how he becomes saved. Washed by the blood of Jesus. 1 John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And the blood of Jesus Christ's son cleanseth us from all sin. So once we confess, we say, Lord, save me. Wash me. The blood of Jesus is released. And then he just cleanses everything. That's why Christ died. Because it is only blood that can wash away sin. Nothing else can do it. Like when they're washing an engine, they use fuel to wash the engine. Because you can't use water to wash an engine. Only fuel can wash an engine. In the same way, only blood can wash away sin. Number four, the oil. The oil is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. You know, when you become born again, you are washed by the blood of Jesus. Do you know what happens? The Holy Spirit comes to live inside you. The Spirit of God comes to live inside you. For 1 Corinthians 3.16 says, Know ye not that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you. So when a man give, or a woman gives his, gives, gives his or her life to Jesus, the Spirit of God, is poured in, and the oil is symbolic of the Spirit. That's why, that's why in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 13, the Bible says, Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him, that is David, in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. 
So when that good Samaritan, Jesus, got down to attend to this man, he poured in the oil. So the blood washes us, the oil is poured, and then we become what? Born again. Wow. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that God shows us his love by washing us with his blood and giving us the Holy Spirit. Join us tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we leave, here is a praise report to boost your faith in the Lord. Visa granted. Dear Kappa, I requested for prayers concerning a visa I had applied for in connection with my master's program in Germany. You prayed for me and encouraged me to have faith. After your prayers, I was granted the visa and I'm now in school. Indeed, God has been good to me. To him be all the glory. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at akrobatin.org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony, and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.